Hi, I'm Ruan. That's R U D H A N, uh, pronounced Ruan. Um, I am a classically trained tenor of about 15 years, from the age of about 4 or 5 to about the age of 20. I also have f about 4 years of training for viola from about 4th grade to 8th grade. And I started teaching myself harmonium last year, early um, 2016, I want to say about March of 2016. And I've been um, just experimenting with the uh, Aetherphone, uh, which is the preferred name by its inventor, Leon Theremin, um, commonly known as the Theremin. Um, I've just been experimenting with the Theremin, the, uh, the uh, Moog Theremini that I've been able to check out from the Ann Arbor District Library. Ah, uh, ah, uh, this is... Um, just a channel where I hope to, um, post, um, some music and maybe some, um, YouTube tagging vloggy type posts. Ah, uh, commonly, co common, eh, eh, <laughs> commonly asked questions that I get is, uh, first, where is my accent from? Uh, I, mm, where does my phone Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very professional, as you can see. Uh, um, my accent, I grew up um, uh, first 12 years in Ohio, and then from about the age of 12 on, I, um, age of 12 through 18, I spent summers in London, but that's not where the accent's from. And uh, my father remarried and we moved to rural Michigan. Um, uh, the accent is a um, transatlantic or mid-Atlantic. Uh, you might recognize um, certain um, sounds and pronunciations from Katherine Hepburn, Cary Grant, Vincent Price, um, uh, the characters of Frasier and Niles Crane from the uh, sitcom Frasier and Frasier originated on the sitcom Cheers, and also uh, the character of Rarity from My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. These are all the most famous examples I can think of of the transatlantic accent. And I, uh, I actually learned to pick up accents when I lived in London with my sister and my brother-in-law during uh, junior high and high school, because when you're a teenager, people talk to you like you're an idiot. When you've got an American accent in the UK, people talk to you like you're an idiot. So I figured, you know, I'll just go only... <laughs> I'll just aim for half the idiocy people are going to treat me with um, and learn, you know, a passable um, accent. I did have a London accent off and on, you know, off and on through those years. Um, and I do pick up accents when I'm watching uh, British and Irish television. In fact, my accent goes a bit Irish when I'm watching Father Ted or, um, or Irish films I love. Uh, <laughs> one of my favorites is Disco Pigs. Uh, it is a messed up movie. It is a very messed up movie, but it's, it's beautiful and sad, um, in a uniquely Irish way. So, um, but I went with Transatlantic because I'm basing my music, my, my persona as a musician on, uh, the 20s and 30s, um, aesthetic, so early Hollywood, um, music of that era, but more, uh, but also, um, avant-garde music, which really, um, started its own thing around then. Um, this was the time when, you know, of the Surrealists and Dada, so, you know, and when the avant-garde really started taking off, uh, you know, as art movements. So, that's where the accent comes from. It's, you know, nobody... <laughs> in fact, people have gone on at length about this. Nobody naturally speaks with a transatlantic accent. This is something that, you know, even people who, do, who did speak with it, it's become almost, you know, it's 
considered borderline, ex you know, it's considered like near extinction now. Um, uh, but, you know, people would go to classes to learn how to speak with this, so, you know, it's, it's a purely affected accent. I also use this accent more often than not on my, uh, on my show, and just get another question, like, people ask me, like, whoa, well, what do you do? Uh, I am, uh, my primary income is Social Security Disability, but I do other work as well. I work for the internet-based radio station, WFKU, that's at WFKU.org. I am on Tuesdays, noon to three Eastern time. So, um, right now that's Greenwich, um, minus five, but it's Greenwich minus four during summertime. I also work at, for the Upsilanti Michigan Historical Society, and I sell handmade, um, one-inch pinback buttons like the kind you get at punk shows, and handmade jewelry on Artfire. Mm. I have three cats, and I'm currently cohabiting with a young man. <laughs> uh, I also have a lot of houseplants. I'm going to turn into one of those fags with cats and houseplants. And that's it for now, I figure, you know, a vloggy type update on Mondays or Tuesdays, and maybe a music update on Sundays. So watch this space. And go to Rowan Music, that's R-U-A-D-H-A-N music dot bandcamp dot com.